Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion Lowest Rank Run. Last episode, I promised that we'd be catching the boo in this room, this room right here. Um, but I decided that because of the situation in these rooms, it would actually be much more of a pain to do it right now. So I'm going to wait until we have more rooms opened up to catch all the boos in this area. But anyway, as we continue on to here, the cellar. Maybe, maybe you should vacuum more. I love how finally we're using the vacuum as an actual vacuum and not as an ectoplasmic ghost sucker. It's pretty cool. Anyway, you got this right here. Ghost, you can't hide from me. <laughs> Who told you that you could hide? No one did, because you're stupid. God, these people need to clean out this gutter. This cellar, not the gutter. I don't know what I'm saying. For some, like, the, the dust here is actually really glitchy, kind of. It always, like, sporadically, randomly moves. Also, I didn't mean to activate you yet, but, you know, I, I guess I could do it right now. You know, I'm not very picky. Also, we unlocked a chest. Let's see what's in here. Whoa, my god, surprise, it's a key. I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting... Hey, notice that goes all the way up to the third floor, so you're probably thinking, Dude, we just unlocked... The basement, why do we have to go all the way over there? Well, I'll, I will show you right now. Also, flippy pads, which I can just use to go boop and screw you dust piles. Nobody likes you anyway. And now we're in this hall, but you see, we have nothing open in this hall except for that one corridor at the end. So while avoiding every single ghost we can, Kind of. You can say, well, let's just go in here and see what's down here. I have a good feeling about this, guys. I have a really good feeling about this. Oh. Oh my god, it's a, it's a King Boo. White gloves. Little mustache. Soft shoes. My <laughs> very perceptive King Boo. You are, you are very, you have eyes, I can tell now. No, I actually, I just want to claim Mario myself. He always gets in my way. You like him where he is? Oh. Booze. Blow me away. Hold on, at least buy me dinner first. Anyways, you can see, we can't get there yet. That's actually, spoiler alert where we're going to be going at the end. But, as you can see, we have to do other stuff first. Hold on, I want to go save. Alright, let's head back on. You know, I really do like how this game looks. It, I think it's one of the most impressive, uh, really early GameCube titles. At least in looks. Wave Race Blue Storm actually looks really nice for its water. But that's about it. Other than that, I think I think this is definitely one of the better looking GameCube launch titles. Or launch, launch window, I should say. Hold on, does this have a heart? Yes, it does. See, I don't want to have too many much health. But I will take, you know, more than 15. I think that's a fair agreement. Oh, uh, I don't like you, bats. I've never been a fan of bats. Bats scare me. Let's let's talk about bats for a second. They're pretty cool, right? You know, they eat insects and stuff, except for fruit bats. They eat fruit. I don't know. Bats are cool. Vote bats in the next presidential election. Bats for president 2014. But anyway, as you can see, we're going back right to the telephone room that we were in during the blackout. But you notice there's still no lights in here. Is there a reason for that? God, I think I'm gonna raid this room for some treasure like it's a, a dungeon caller, so let me let me get some stuff. Well darn it. Okay guys, I'm back. Fun fact, don't hit this chest. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. So anyway, we're gonna head on to this chest right here. And who's in it but our good old friend... Mr. Bones, who I can't seem to hit with my flashlight. There we go. I believe this is the only time 
that Mr. Bones appears indoors. Of course, the, the guy's names aren't actually Mr. Bones. I think they're like just Skeleton Ghost or something. But I mean, who really wants to call them Skeleton Ghost? It's all about Mr. Bones, am I right? I don't know, you don't really need to know the, the names of these minor ghosts in this game. You really don't. I mean, I didn't know them as a kid, and I got by pretty well. I mean, I wouldn't say I got by the best. But that's for another time period or something. Oh, okay. So this chest contains money, and I'm expected to open it. Well, this is a very fine pickle. No, 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 no. Oh. No money. Okay. Could have swore. Oh, there's the money. Huh. Hmm. I am perplexed. Let's just carry on. You must be the boo. Boomerang coming back at you. I don't like boomerangs. I don't like boomerangs at all. Cut no. Boo. Boo come come boomerang. Come back to me. It's almost easy. Ugh. We can go into this room right now, but that room's all dark and stuff, so Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Alright, I'm just gonna get you back. Please room go. Ugh. See, this this annoys me about these later boos. This this just annoys me. It's like they have such high like health that it's ridiculous, and it's one of the things I like the least about this game. I think it's not well. This part of it is not well designed at all. It just adds a, a little bit too much frustration to the game. That I'm not the biggest fan of. I still love this game to death, though. This, this will forever be like one of my favorite childhood games. This will forever be one of my favorite GameCube games, uh, even with stupid crap like this. Ugh, I don't. It's almost like not even worth it. You know, like I'm just running back and forth between these rooms. This makes for some very, very riveting. Commentary and gameplay. I am definitely sure. Alright, boo, just don't go into one of those not good rooms. Oh, you did. Well, screw that. I'm coming back later. It's gonna be the motto of these later boos. Once I get all of them in one area done, like once I light up all the rooms, I'll just come back for all of them because I'm done. I am 100% done. But now we can finally address this room. This is... Dun dun dun, the clockwork room. You know everyone has this in their mansion. I know I do. Anyway, the main thing you'll notice about this room is that there are a lot of... Clocks. And also creepy... Like, puppet things. Marionettes. But that's not the focus. What is the focus is these clocks. Now, Luigi is a very curious beast. So he likes playing with clocks. It's pretty fun. Yes, that's his mojo right there. I, th I think that one's going off. Yeah, I, th I guess that one's... Yeah, that one's going off. It's just kind of hard to tell. Anyway, we got this one. Nope, nope, not the chair. Not, not the chair, Luigi. This is no time for that. And then as you do that, suddenly, the clockwork soldiers come to life. It's absolutely crazy. I can't remember which... These guys are clockwork soldiers. Uh, they're kind of stupid. Anyway, that's the guy who gives off the pearls. I kind of forgot which one gave off the pearls. Anyway, these guys are like... I, I think they're notorious for being difficult. I've never found them like overwhelmingly tough um they are they are a little bit challenging definitely i'm not gonna like try and underplay it by saying like dude i'm such a great you know luigi's mansion player and i'm getting 
stuck in this corner. Thank you. I'm not going to try and claim that, like, oh, well, these guys are a piece of cake for me because I'm the best. It's, it's not true at all. I'm the worst. It's, it's, this is the lowest rank run. I'm the worst. But be that as this man, I've always liked these guys. Like, I just find their concepts so weird. I mean, you're here in this mansion where it's like it's regarded canon that everyone in here, speaking of annoying, which I wasn't even talking about before, I'm gonna die. It's regarded canon that all, like, the ghosts in this mansion are basically deceased, you know, living people. Um, but these guys are an anomaly, because, I mean, they're clearly toys, so how can they be ghosts? You know? Voodoo magic? I don't know. You, whatever it may be, uh, yeah, this guy's gonna take us for a ride. I can already, I can already see Marvel vs. Capcom 2 playing, someone playing that. I have such low health that, well, all this doesn't really even matter to me. I kinda need to get a heart, though. I, I am the... Who wanted the heart in Wizard of Oz? Was it the, the, the Lion Man? The Lion King? Okay, so hold on. Scarecrow? Yeah, it was the Tin Man who wanted the heart, right? I, I can't stand... I Guys, I honestly can't stand the Wizard of Oz. I, I do not like it at all. I despise it just completely. Like, I don't even regard it as like, well, you know... It's not that great, but... You know, it was good for its time. No. Not even that. I just can't stand it at all. And it pisses me off like so. But anyways, you can see we have a buoy here that I don't want to get right now. Because navigating these rooms pisses me off. So I'm just gonna let it go. You know, like that song from uh, Tangled. Yeah, that, that's what it's from. And uh, go on here. This is actually... Yeah. Weirdly, an elevator. Yeah. No explanation for that. And then we are brought to the rooftop, and suddenly, a uh, whole crap ton of Shy Guy ghosts everywhere. And I'm gonna get two of these guys at one time because I am the boss. Also, ooh, two hearts. Very welcome. Very welcome indeed. I'm gonna try and get another two of these guys at the same time yes sir thank you oh yeah oh yeah look at this leap skill I'll take another heart please yes sir all right and two of you guys left yeah so I don't get why these guys are on the roof at all oh I only got one of them because I was dawdling yeah I don't get why these guys are on the roof or why they need fire because they're ghosts once again, making no sense is Luigi's Mansion. Gotta love it. And would you look at that? We've done it. We've gotten all the ghosts. But there's no light here. Because, well, that'd be stupid. We can go up this ladder. And there's nothing up here. Well, what's up with that? I don't know. Guess what, uh, maybe if we check the other chimney. But anyway, we have the, more of these guys here. Is I, if I can please get fire, please. Fires, please. Oh, did not mean to get hit by you, sir. Alright, but I will suck you up, sir. That is, that is the nature of my being. I suck up ghosts for half price. Alright. I don't know what exactly activates those guys. But anyway, we light up the outside somehow. Um, as such, there is absolutely no booze here, because it's outside. Booze don't like outside. They're, they're what you call nerds. Anyway, blue chest, we know what that means. Water, just kidding, it's key. You guys, I fooled you. I fooled all of you guys. Uh-huh. And that one leads right there. As you can see, we're on roof. I kind of like this map. 
It's kind of neat. Different from all the other areas. Anyway, you saw the mansion has two chimney things. I guess these are chimneys. I don't know. I don't know terminology. Mansion has two of those things. And that one had a chest, so you may be wondering, what does the other one contain? Well, I am happy to say that it contains... Oh, God. And then Luigi fell to his death and died. Just kidding, he survived. I meant for that to rhyme. You cannot punish me with any crime. Bam. Anyway, this is the sealed room. This is an absolutely gorgeous room. It's very cool. has a lot of secret treasure in it, but secret treasure is bad. As to quote, um... Matthew 75, money not good. Jesus didn't. But to be serious, there are a lot of chests in this room, and I had to actually check before doing this episode which one I have to open. And if I'm correct, it's this one. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on uh, your interpretation, I was right. I'm gonna get this blue guy first. I don't know what his name is. Because he seems like he'd be the most deadly. Also, dodging, dodging things like a pro. ML, I'm an MLG pro gamer, guys. You can, uh... You can f find me on Xbox Live... Um, under the, the name... Uh, Ouija Masher. I, I feel like that's an actual name that's taken. It probably is. And we've lit up the room. Now, this is actually a required room. It kind of seems like it would be unnecessary, but it actually is necessary, which is the opposite of unnecessary. I needed to clarify that. Actually, I, mm, actually no. I don't think it's actually necessary. I just think it's a necessary thing for an optional thing. Anyway, there's no exit to this room. If you check the map, you can't leave. But you can. So, sorry guys. We, we can't leave. This is where the game ends. So, I'm sorry I kind of ended on a bad note, but I think this Let's Play has gone pretty well. Um, definitely better than my last one. Definitely. Uh, a lot of things are better than that. But, uh, you know, I like how this one turned out. It started off a little shaky, but I think as it went on, it kind of got a little better, and I've carried on this joke way for, way too long. There's a mirror here. And, wrong button. You can do that good old trick as we did before. To teleport back. Well done, Luigi. You teleported. Yes, very good. And now we're back in the foyer. I think there was a boo in the sealed room, which I probably should have gotten, but I'll just get those on my yearly boo sweep, or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's about all the time I have for right now. So I say next time on Let's Play Luigi's Mansion, lowest rank run, we continue. I don't know. I'm Rocket Actal, and keep on rocking.